We all know some basic productivity techniques, like flipping our phone screen down while working or taking a little breaks during work to relax our mind a little bit. But what if you want to take a step further and discover some items or things that can help you to do more things with less time? And that's what I want to talk to you about in this video and show you 9 things plus 1 bonus thing at the very end that really can boost your productivity that help me to stay productive during the day and like organize my life a little bit. Quick disclaimer before we start. This thing is gonna be actual tangible physical things that you can touch and feel, you know, rather than software and apps. But I bet you there will be some items in this list that rather be surprising to you and definitely unexpected in some way. Let's waste no time and jump to the video. Ability to have a clear vision and knowing what you want to achieve is crucial if you want to become more productive. That being said, with number one on our list, we have a journal. As you probably know, journaling has a lot of proven scientific benefits. Tracking progress and growth, gaining self-confidence, improving writing and communication skills. But I find journaling to be an amazing productivity tool for one more big reason a lot of people are missing on. It's the ability to see the bigger picture. As people, we tend to get lost in our daily grind. However, if you journal some stuff, you can you gain the ability to reflect on the bigger picture and like bigger scale of what's going on in your life. So journaling is definitely huge when it comes to uncluttering your mind and trying to understand yourself better and what you want to do in life. One quick tip for you. If you want to stay consistent with the journaling, you can apply something that Atomic Habits and James Clear talk about. It's basically making the habit of journaling attractive. And how can you do that? Well, maybe consider investing in a more premium quality journal. I'm not saying that it is. I mean, it's, it's a nice, like, I think it's a leather substitute but I like it. Consider spending a little bit more money to getting a nicer journal that will actually be attractive to you to come and write because if you get like the cheapest journal for 50 cents from Walmart, I mean it will still work, don't get me wrong, but would you still enjoy writing in it as much as if you would get a really nice like a little bit more expensive journal. Next item on the list that helps me with productivity is a laptop stand right here. It looks a little weird so let me quickly explain to you how it works. You can open it like this and then you put it on a table you open it even further and then it turns into this little construction. If you work with a laptop a lot, you probably face the issue where the table is a little bit lower. And what happens is basically you're looking at your laptop, but as you see, your line of vision goes down and then you need to bend down your spine and look to the laptop like this. Especially if you're tall like me, I'm 6'9", basically whatever desk I'm using, I'm still gonna be sitting like that, like a shrimp, you know? And then what the laptop stand does, it basically allows you to pick up your laptop put it right here, open it a little farther. Now my, my line of vision, I'm not looking down like this, I'm looking down like this. I mean, I'm still looking down a little bit because I'm 6'9", but if I lower my chair a little bit, it gets even better. So now I don't need to sit like a shrimp. I can straighten my posture a little bit and look just slightly down to my screen. And there are different versions of laptop stands and the one you should get will depend on the computer you have. What my computer can do is I have those like HP Envy, I believe it is, and it can bend all the way around. So if I place it on this thing, I can lift my screen even higher and bend it so I can like sit even straighter. However, if your laptop opens only to this extent, if you put it right here, it will basically just be like this. You don't want that to happen. So there's a different type of laptop stands that can lift up and what it does, it have a little platform and then you just put your laptop on this platform. I'll attach a picture how it looks somewhere here. And you can put your laptop like this and just sit straight. That's a great solution as well. I went with this one because, well, this one was a little bit cheaper. I think I got it for like $15. And I also like move a lot to work from work, etc. This thing really comes in handy because of how small it is. The ones with, that come with a platform, obviously, they're going to be a little bigger, which you still can put on a backpack. But I went with this one. 10 out of 10. Laptop stand is definitely something I would highly recommend for productivity because it helps you to work on laptop for longer periods of time and be more healthy by sitting straighter. With number three on the list is a computer mouse. I am so surprised with the fact of how many people are not using computer mouse while working on their laptops. I mean, I get it. It can look more aesthetically while, you know, you're sitting in the cafe using a touchpad. I mean, it's already a built-in tool, so you don't need to grab anything externally. I personally tried to experiment and I was not using mouse for a little bit and tried to just use a touchpad on my, on my computer. It feels nice, but it was slowing the stuff that I was doing. It was taking me two or even three times more, more time to do my activities that I was doing with mouse. Now, I have this fancy mouse, which is lot Logitech G903 right here, light speed. And this thing was a bit over $100, I believe, which is definitely an overkill for the majority of people. 
but I do a lot of video editing and graphic design, so I wanted to invest in a little bit more premium solution. But obviously, you don't need such an expensive solution, and you can get any mouse. I think in, in Walmart or like Amazon, they have wireless mice for like mice, mouse. I mean, it's my, anyway, they have wireless mouse for $20, $15, $30. So there's definitely something you can find there. The only thing that I'll recommend you to consider while getting a mouse, think about the wireless solution because when there's less wires everywhere, it will just feel nicer and like it will feel a little cleaner. Also, if you decide to get yourself a laptop stand that we talked about before for your laptop, the only problem with that, that when you put a laptop on this thing, it makes it, let me move it a little bit. It makes it kind of impossible for you to type because it's either you need to bend your wrist like 45 degrees and type like this and it's definitely not gonna work for a longer period of time. And especially if you get a laptop stand that rises up and basically puts your laptop in the air like that, you can't really like keep your hands up and type like this, right? So what you will need to get is something like an external keyboard. Here's the one I got for myself. It's Royal Clutch 61. Super nice keyboard. It was not a very expensive solution. It was probably like, $45, $50, I believe. I got it from Amazon. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that this is a mechanical keyboard and mechanical keyboards just feel a little nicer when you type. But keep in mind, I didn't know that, that there are different type of switches on a keyboard. So switch is something that goes under the button and like when you click on it, switch sounds di uh, different switches sound differently. And when I got that keyboard, I basically got it for work to, to bring it to work. And I'm, you know, sitting in the office and there's a different coworkers around me. I had the one with the blue switches and I started to type and it's so loud. Like everyone around can hear me. Nobody said anything, but I, I just felt bad of typing a lot and like literally everyone could hear you. So if you work from home, blue switches, they kind of feel nice. So if you're by yourself in a room, it's fine. But if you know that you're going to be surrounded by other people while using a keyboard, I returned the blue one and I got the one with the brown switches. It sounds a little better. I like, let me type a little bit. I don't know if you'll hear that. This is a great solution because when you have a laptop on a stand, as I've said, now I don't need to bend my wrist to types like that. I can just sit even straighter and just use the keyboard and the mouse and basically turn my laptop into the stationary computer. Additionally, if you do a lot of typing, it's like getting a nice journal. You know, if you grab a really nice journal, you're going to be attracted to it and you're going to write a little bit more because you like the, the way it writes there, right? The same with the keyboard. If you're typing a lot, obviously if you get the $15 keyboard from the Walmart, it will still work. It will still do the job, right? But the thing is, if you invest in a little premium solution, it will feel a little nicer. So you'll be more, you will get more enjoyment from the act of writing or like typing on the keyboard. So definitely something to consider. Now it's time for me to show you one of those things that I said you would rather find surprising on this list. And this would be hand warmers. I get those as a gift and I absolutely love them. Granted, I live in Arizona and there's probably 15 to 30 days when it's really cold here and I use them. But if you lived in a colder climate, those things can really help you to become more productive. You're probably thinking that hand warmers are cool, but how in the world they can help you with productivity? So let me explain. Basically, if you're like me and you work with computers, a lot and type a lot during the winter when it's cold in the apartment or the house the tips of your fingers can get really cold after a while and if you're walking somewhere outside in the park it's not such a big deal right but if you're typing on the keyboard your fingertips starting to hurt a little bit and what happens you're starting to type slower and then your productivity drops down because you're typing slower you're not enjoying it as much your fingers hurt etc and that's why the hand warmers come in handy because you can put on a quick youtube video or just take five minute break Turn them on like this and they'll light a little bit. I think this one might be a little out of battery. Then you just hold them in your hands for, I don't know, five minutes or whatever it's gonna be. And they can warm your hands really well. You can wrap your fingers around it. And especially it's a great solution for your home or like for the work if it's cold there. As I said, just turn on the video, give yourself a little break, warm up your hands and then you can get back to working. Or you can also use them for a walk during the winter when it's really cold. If you're watching some outside football NFL game, whatever it's gonna be, you can just grab those, put them in your pockets and just keep your hands warm. I, as I said, not sure how much they cost. It was a gift. I bet you can look it up on Amazon, but they're absolutely great. They look really cool. They look stylish, which I like. They come with a little case that you can put them in. When it comes to productivity, a big piece of the equation that a lot of people are missing is to make it fun. Ali Abdal was the first person to kind of walk me in that concept of making the productivity about fun and enjoying it as well, rather than just grinding and find the way to get more work done. 
And that being said, I decided to optimize my home environment a little bit more because I work a lot of from home. So I decided to make my room a little bit more attractive for me to go into, spend some time there and do some work there. And some of the tools that helped me with that are incense and candles. Some people think that incense have some type of magical ability to make you work more, etc, etc, to make you feel better. I'm not necessarily feeling that. Maybe if you get like super expensive, super expensive incense somewhere from like Tibet or whatever, maybe. I don't know. I'm getting the ones from the regular store, so not necessarily. But they just making your both incense and candle make your room smell nicer and make it more enjoyable to be at. You can get any of the flavors. The three I brought from my room is Nag Champa. Not sure what it is. Dragon's Blood and Wind. But you can get like lavender. You can get Walk on the Beach, especially with candles. Just go to Bath and Body, you're gonna have millions and bajillions of flavors. Pumpkin spice, watermelon, whatever it's gonna be. But another fact about those two things, when I just, when we just moved here to this apartment, I started to light an incense or a candle whenever I was doing some prolonged work on my computer, so when I needed to focus. And then after some period of time, I kind of started to associate the smell of, the smell of those two and the sensation of like that little smoke with the you know process of working and process of focus and now it actually helps me to focus on the work a little bit more i basically get into the stage of flow of work a little faster if i smell some incense or I, I smell a candle the next item on the list that helps me to stay productive are ear pods i had them in a little case right here but basically what happens i spend about 20 to 25 minutes commuting to work every day and then i'm going to the gym going for walks etc so i like to listen to a lot of audiobooks i have an audible subscription or you know some podcast or whatever so obviously you can still listen to music but you know if you want to become more productive probably if you just listen to some books or listen to some podcasts on the go you can consume more information right but besides all of that ear pods can be a great productivity solution because of the noise cancellation feature now not all the ear pods models gonna have noise cancellation i have the second uh, second pro version so it has all those like acoustic noise cancellation all those features i'm using mainly just noise cancellation and transparency when i'm riding a bike but noise cancellation is great because if you are having some hard time to focus because of some external noises that can really help you a lot. For example, my partner Aurora, she likes to listen to some podcasts in the other room, outside voices of those like girls talking at a podcast. I, nothing about girls, just, just describe it. I can't really focus that much on like, when I'm reading a book, I can't really focus because someone keep constantly talks in the other room and it, getting, it, it makes it harder for me to focus. So I'm just popping headphones, turning the noise cancellation, no music, nothing, just noise cancellation. It makes it so much better because now I can focus directly on my book, I don't hear any external noises. So it definitely helps me a lot. Can be a great solution if you're working in the library, in the public library a lot. Usually it's quiet, but there's gonna be someone always who's gonna open the backpack, close the backpack, spill the coffee, whatever it's gonna be. The noise cancellation feature is big, so maybe when you're considering your next headphones, look for that feature. And if you have a pair of those portable earbuds, I would highly recommend you to get something like this, which is a portable cleaning kit. It has a little brush right here, and on the other end, if you use it, it has a little spiky thing that will help you to get some mud or some dirt out of your headphones and a little brush as well. So number six, we had headphones with noise cancellation feature, a little case on them and a little cleaning kit that you can get for like $10 as well. Let's move to the next item. Another incredible productivity tool that all of us has is a phone. Your phone is clearly a double-edged sword. It can be a great productivity tool that can help you to boost your productivity, but you know, then you're trying to do something productive on your phone and all of a sudden you're watching your 20th reel in a row and you're not being productive. During the day, we all have those moments when a random idea pops in our head and we think, what a brilliant idea. I definitely like it because it's such a good idea. I'm going to remember that and then I'm going to use it at one point. But all of a sudden, like literally two minutes minutes later you start doing something and you don't remember this idea at all like even though it was such a brilliant idea and then you spend hours or even days trying to remember that thing that you thought about and you're just wasting your time doing that so you can use your phone i don't have a phone right here i'll ask my editor to put a phone right here you can use it to write down the stuff that comes to your head throughout the day. For example, you have a random idea about the next YouTube video you want to film or about the cooking recipe that you want to try really bad. 
instead of trying to remember all of that, your brain is not made for like storage of information. It, it's made for usage of those information and trying to figure out some solutions. So to store this information, you can just grab your phone really quick, go to the notes app. Obviously it can be Notion, Evernote, whatever it's gonna be. I prefer just regular built-in notes app because it's usually best optimized and really quick. And just type something like, I want to have lasagna for today. And then you don't need to spend half of your day trying to figure out, damn, what was the dish I was thinking about? Oh, I really wanted to make this YouTube video, but I can't remember what it was about. That way you just go to your notes app at the end of the day or every Saturday, whatever it's gonna be, and just check what's out of the ideas you wrote down. It helps you to eliminate forgetting about some brilliant ideas and do not any longer waste time trying to remember those ideas. With number eight is rather another surprising thing for a lot of people on this list and it is a big water bottle. Now hydration is really important either you're working on something or just you know living your life. When I was in college I had a cute little water bottle but what I was catching myself doing is I was constantly, you know, drinking that water, staying hydrated, which is good, right? But then I was getting from the desk and going to refill that water bottle, coming back, drinking it, you know, literally like five sips, going back, up, back, up, back. And it was just making the work so much more harder now because I couldn't really focus because I was getting up and back all the time. Getting a bigger water bottle, this is not the biggest, you can, like, if you're staying home all the time, you can get really one of those big ones that will have a little marks in it, like, good morning, afternoon, all of that stuff, but really nice big one, just put it next to your desk, and this way you don't need to get back and forth all the time. The last thing that I have on my list is a carpet chair mat. Now, I have a thick carpet in my apartment, and it's almost impossible to move a chair around without this thing. I can't really imagine sitting without sliding even slightly during the work session, so it's an absolute must-need for me. But if you have a hardwood floor, it can still be a great solution for you because it will help you to keep your floor protected so the chair not gonna scratch your floor. And it also adds that smooth motion so when you, you know, like, move the chair a little bit on that mat, it's kinda like, it feels smoother a little bit. I get mine from Amazon for like $35 and if you have carpets floor, I feel it's definitely must need. Now, I promised you a little bonus at the end of the video, so... Timer. Regular small timer that you can get for $5 from Amazon can really go a long way and help you to become super productive. Take for example Pomodoro technique. It assumes that you can reach the ultimate level of productivity if you work for 25 minutes and then take 5 minutes break and then 25 minutes, 5 minutes. So that's how you can use a timer. Just set a 25 minute timer, focus completely on the work and when it goes off, set a 5 minute timer, go to the fridge, grab a chocolate chip cookie, grab some lemonade, whatever, take a little break. And then when the timer goes off, you go back to work for the 25 minutes and you feel more refreshed. So that's one of the things how timer can help you. Second thing, in whatever we do, the hardest thing is to make the first step, to get something started. As an experiment, make a deal with yourself that you will start doing something that you don't want to be doing, either writing a school essay or you know, editing the video, for just 5 minutes. Set a timer for 5 minutes and then tell yourself, when the timer goes off, I will stop doing whatever I'm doing. The funny thing, what's probably gonna happen, if you work on something for at least 5 minutes, you might get into this flow of actually doing something. And when the timer goes off, you're just gonna turn it off and keep doing the thing that you're doing. Because you're already in that flow, you're already in the motion of doing it. And that's how a simple timer can be a great productivity solution for you. Now, this was my list, and it's definitely very subjective. For example, hand warmers, you, you might not need them at all. But I hope this list provided you with at least some of the items, like at least one or two items that you'll be willing to try and, you know, see if they can help you to feel more productive about yourself. One last thing, guys. Productive items, like tangible items that I was showing you in this video, they are really great and they can help you with productivity. But we are living currently in a digital world and everything around spins around technology. So someone who is using and utilizing productivity softwares as well will always be one step ahead of those who are not doing that. We made a separate YouTube video with 13 apps that can help you to become more productive and organized. And basically this video can help you to put yourself ahead of the curve and become more productive and push your productivity to the next level. Check it out. If you guys like this video, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.